Hey, my name is Riley Chase with Hostify, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add a Unify network device like this wireless access point to a remotely located or cloud based Unify controller. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is log into your cloud based Unify controller, and this may be hosted on um, DigitalOcean or. Um, uh, if you're using Hostify, then I'm going to be showing you um, how to find the address for that. So um, after you've already signed up, you're going to see this in your dashboard. And uh, if you go ahead and copy this link and open that in your web browser, you'll have um, credentials here with uh, a username and temporary password. So um, we're going to go ahead and get logged in. This is the, the cloud-based um, Unify controller. Um, go ahead and change the password real quick and then we're in and uh, the first step to add a new device would be to uh, create a, a new site for it or if you already have an existing site I'm just gonna name this site um, test and now um, we are ready to add a device so for this video I'm only showing how to add a brand new device to your uh, cloud-based Unify controller. If you already have devices on an existing controller, you're going to want to watch my video on how to do a um, site migration, and um, I'll put that um, link in the description. So at this point, I've plugged in the access point that I showed in the video earlier um, to the network, and it's currently in a factory default um, configuration. And the first thing that you're going to need to do is figure out the IP address of the device. And one way to do that is to use this Chrome extension called the Ubiquity Device Discovery Tool. It is uh, available for download for free, and I will put the link to this in the description as well. So once you've finished downloading that, go ahead and open it up. And then in the upper right hand corner, click on Unify Family. And as you can see, it's already found the access point that I have plugged into the network. And um, we can see its IP address and um, there's also this action button go ahead and click on that action button now um, the action that we're going to use is the set and form and you can see that there is, there are also other actions um, now the server that we want to set and form to is your the address of your um, cloud controller and so in this case um, it would be this address here Now it's really important that you leave um, the protocol as HTTP and the port as 8080 and uh, slash inform. If you um, if you change any of this information to HTTPS or 8443 or if you take inform off, it won't work. Um, now the username and password is UBNT and UBNT because um, that is the credentials for a factory de default device. Go ahead and click execute. And if you notice in the bottom left corner, we have a device that says pending in our Unify controller. So we go to devices and you can see here's the access point and it's currently pending adoption. So go ahead and click this adopt button. So now you can see the um, device state is provisioning. And so um, it's gonna, right now there's no, I haven't configured a wireless network or any settings for it. However, it's still gonna provision because um, one of the settings that is going to change is it's going to um, change the SSH authentication. So um, it's going to now have the username of uh, test our chase and this uh, randomly generated password. Now, if we head back over to devices, we'll see the status has changed from provisioning to connected. So um, this, this X point's connected. The next step I'd recommend is to upgrade uh, the firmware and um, start configuring your your uh, wireless network and um, the rest of your settings. Thank you for watching and if this video was helpful for you please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more videos like this.